everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lea and I live with my family here in our yurt in the countryside of central Portugal. Uh, on my channel here I make videos about our yurt, about our daily life, um, about the self-sufficient farm that we're trying to set up. So if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, uh, because I make uh, one or two videos every week. And today I want to talk to you about some of the things, 8 or 10, I'm not sure yet, some of the things that you need to know before you buy a yurt to live in. Some of them are good, some of them are not so good, um, but they are all things to take into consideration. So the first thing, and probably the most obvious thing, is that a yurt is a movable structure. Um, even though some of the more luxurious ones like we have uh, with windows and a, a crown that has windows um, they might be harder to move, they're probably a bit heavier than some other ones um, but in principle this we can move up and we can take the earth with us so if we in five or ten years time say okay sorry this is not the land that we need that we envisioned we can take the yard and start over somewhere somewhere else and that for us is a big plus. Um, here in central Portugal it is also allowed to live in a non-permanent uh, non structure, um, a yurt being one of them. So if you are thinking of moving to this area, um, a yurt is a great option. One thing to say there is that if you build the deck, um, like the one we have, it shouldn't be stuck to the ground so that in principle if you move away you can take everything and you don't have to dig out any concrete or anything. Um, so that is something to think about. Uh, the rules might be different in different areas. I'm pretty sure they are different in the Alentejo and in the Algarve. So if you want to do something similar in that area I would really um, suggest you look up what the rules are there. I can only talk about the area here. Another thing that we really love about living in a yurt is that the round space really makes it feel a lot bigger. Um, there are no corners where you can just hide things or anything. But overall, uh, the floor space that we have right now um, feels a lot more than when we were living in container buildings. Um, so we used to live in a container as well. Uh, our, our student housing was made from containers. Uh, shipping containers. So the amount of floor space that we had in them was about two-thirds of, of the yurt that we have right now um, but they felt about half of it also because they had a kitchen and a bathroom and everything in it. The round space makes it feel very big. From what we've experienced and from other people coming into our yurt it's like a, a little cave um, and because of all the natural materials and all the fabric it feels very very calming and relaxing and um, I do have to say that with our yurt we have windows other maybe more traditional ones don't uh, don't have windows um, but that also really helps with the sense of, of space uh, because we can just from our couch we can see the mountains every day um, and that really helps to make it feel bigger and we also have the skylight. One thing that we really love about a yurt but that might be different for, me, for you is that um, it's very close to nature so uh, d obviously depending on where you put it up uh, you can put it up in the middle of nowhere you're on your land, you're in a forest you can put it up in places that are very close to nature um, and you can also hear a lot more about what's going on because it's still basically a tent um, you hear the rain and you hear the wind and you can really experience much more of what is going on outside you can really feel the weather um, so we really love that because I think um, that's something a lot of people have lost because they're always in their home and you don't really see much of what's going on outside also because people are busy but getting to be so much closer to nature was definitely one of the reasons why we wanted to live in a yurt even if it's just for a couple of years we will see how how for how long we can stay 
another thing uh, that is great about a yurt as a house is that it's a very efficient way uh, of using materials. So as you can see here, um, our yurt is all natural materials. Um, we bought it from a Dutch company that imports them from Mongolia. And so they're made with the traditional pine wood and then um, we have some cotton um, some cotton fabric and then we have two layers of felt and then the rain cover and the decoration cover those are not a hundred percent natural um, but the most most of the structure is natural materials um, but because you see the walls and you um, just use a little bit of fabric to cover up the insulation um, you don't need as much materials so some of our friends have built tiny houses um, that are about the same size and in comparison to us they used double, triple the amount of materials um, because if you build a little house then you buy like the blue insulation or something or insulation that you have to cover up and then uh, there's lots of different layers of materials that you need um, in comparison to a yurt that you can buy so another thing that is really great about here is that you can put it up yourself. Um, it has a bit of a learning curve, we noticed, because uh, we looked at some videos on YouTube and we had a manual for setting it up. And on the day we got a team of our friends together and it did. we did have to kind of figure out as we were going how it actually goes. But in principle you can set it up yourself, you don't need any professional builder. You don't need that much knowledge. It's fairly simple and straightforward in principle. Um, so it really feels very nice to set up your own house. Uh, it took us two days. Uh, simpler ones with less um, with less insulation would probably just take the day. So that is to say it is a great way to build your own house. You don't need experience and you can just do it yourself. And that that alone is a really great feeling. Another thing that is great about having a yurt is that it's a very affordable way of living. Um, you could build a house and spend as much money as you want um, or not so much but even the cheapest houses that you can build are not as cheap as a yurt. So even with different kinds of yurts you can spend um, more or less money. We have windows in our yurt uh, they make it a little bit more expensive, um, as well as a double layer of insulation, uh, which adds to the price. But still, in comparison to building an actual house, this is very affordable. And finally, as you have probably seen in some of my videos, toddlers absolutely love the round space. So Puck loves to, loves to run around here um, in the middle around the two poles just a little circle like sometimes she'll like get out of bed and start running <laughs> and just go for a little jog in the yurt so on the one ha hand it's it might be difficult for some to live in a single space with children um, we don't mind as much but uh, the plus side is definitely that she just loves this loves the space uh, she loves to run around in the circle and uh, she's very happy here in her little tiny home but it definitely also helps that she can just go out the door be outside in nature and be totally free in that way so uh, there's a, there are ups and downs with living uh, with a toddler in a tiny house in the yurt uh, maybe I'll make a video about that some other time um, but there are definitely also some pluses that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about living in a yurt, living in a yurt with a toddler, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. I hope you all are safe and healthy and I'll see you next week. Bye!